So before I start this video, I messed up, but I still am going to upload it as is because I'm always messing up. Um, the klutzy person that I am, I left something that I'm going to be showing. I had it plugged in and it's buzzing in the background. I played it back and you can hear the buzz, but I think me talking over it I think it's okay. I hope so. If not, I'll, I won't do that again. I apologize. But I realized it when I looked over and saw it. I thought, I've left that thing on. Let me unplug it. And I did. And then the rest of the video is okay. Hopefully it won't detract too much, but I just, if I film it again, something else will happen. It always does. So I might as well start uploading my mistakes. So here you go. <laughs> Hey everyone, it's Melissa. Today's video is just some recent things that I have bought. It's not a lot, but I don't know, it's like in the, the rules of YouTube, when you buy something, you show it on a video. So that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, it, like I said, it's not a whole lot, but I did get some interesting things, so I did want to share them. The first one is the we get the official name. Makeup by Mario Surreal Skin Liquid Foundation. So I got this in yesterday or the day before. I need to use it before I do a review. I've used it once or twice. On first blush, I didn't like it because, well, I went around all day long. It felt tacky and it, it stayed tacky. And I don't wear powders. And I couldn't imagine even putting powder over the how tacky it felt. So I'm going to wear it a while to see if it goes away. And it did eventually go away. But I went around like this, you know, you know, making making faces. And they said, why are you doing your face like that? I was like, it just feels sticky on me. I just, it made me nervous. I could feel the foundation on my skin. But that's just the first try. So I'm going to keep on. My color was good. It is 11N. It's a good color for me. Just a nice neutral beige, which is what I like. And uh, I like the color, but I don't want to be unfair to it. So I want to wear it for a while. I will probably do a day or so with just the full face of it. Mainly I want to do a comparison between it and the NARS, the NARS, um, you know, the light reflecting I think that's what it's called, foundation that I really, really like so much. Uh, yeah, light reflecting that I really like so much. It's, it's a wonderful foundation, but I'm still willing to try others in, you know, in the pursuit of trying to find the best uh, foundations that there are out here to, out there to show on my channel. But I'll, I'll give it another chance or several more chances, but I want to compare it one-on-one -on -one with this one. Just like I said, just got a couple of items. Oh, this, okay, one more makeup item that I'm anxious to share this one. The next makeup item, it is going to be a favorite. It may be a favorite for the whole year. It may, it's one of the best things to me since sliced bread. And I heard about it from my friend Vicki, Miss Vicki on here on YouTube. Of course, I will leave her, link her channel. You go watch Vicki. She's got once lots of wonderful ideas and I value her opinion and her friendship. Okay, so she talked about this. I can't remember Vicki if it was on a YouTube video or Instagram, but anyway, uh, I was lucky enough to catch it. It is the Milani, what's it called? Lash Extension. Now, it looks like the Thrive Mascara, and it is. this is a tubing mascara. Of course, it is much cheaper than the Thrive. Oh my goodness, this thing, you know, I've, I've bemoaned the fact that every mascara smears underneath here, and I have to use the La Estee Lauder Little Black Primer underneath my bottom lashes, because I do like to put them on my bottom lashes. So I have to use a little black primer. Nope, not with this. It does not smear whatsoever. And I've got smeary eyes. I think my eyelashes, I think my eyes are such a way that they're kind of maybe deep set. So my bottom eyelashes get all across my skin and when I blink and everything, it, it just gets underneath there. 
uh, even if I powder or whatever. Now, it's interesting taking it off because when you get it wet, it just starts peeling off. I was like, oh my gosh, you know, I, I'm very new to peeling, to tubing mascara. So I was like, well, this just comes right off. Now, when I wash my face in the sink, like when I take morning showers and wash my face in the sink, it's kind of hard to, it keeps, it kind of gets all over my face. And at the very end, after I wash my face and it's all off, it's kind of, maybe some of it stuck to my skin. So I have to get a towel and kind of wipe it off my skin. No big deal, not a problem. If I take night showers, I can just get in the shower and it will just get it all off and it goes down the drain. So, you know, if you take night showers, boy, this is the thing to have. And you can, if you don't take night showers, just wash your face at night, still great. Uh, but it may stick to your skin a little bit unless you just rinse a whole lot. But I don't care, it's fantastic. I don't care if it was hard to get off. It's fantastic, I love it. Thank you, Vicki. The next one, I'm so glad, Alex. I, I saw this and ordered it from watching her because I watched her work with them for years and um, I finally learned how to use them. Alex, uh, I'll have to put her name because I, I, can't, I can't remember how her last name is actually pronounced. So I'll, I'll just spell it out underneath here. But they are French pins that are like hair pins. Now, I always liked doing hair pins because I would get it set and if I would put a bobby pin in, even if I would open the bobby pin up and try to stick it in, it always mashed in and it left a little divot in like my bun or whatever in or my French twist, it would leave a divot. I don't know how to explain it except it would have a little crease where it would go in or so the whole cement symmetry of the bun or the updo or whatever was off. So I used little smaller pins and I would just stick them in. That gave a lovely look, but the pins would just pop out. And so I thought, I know people, Alex uses these a lot. Let, let me just really study and watch her. So she mentioned these French pins. So um, I found them on Amazon and ordered them. I think they're the three inch. And I ordered them and I watched how she did it. Well, I was doing it wrong. Now she bends them for the contour of her head. I can't. I can't seem to do that right. When I bend it, it goes sideways and then the contour is all wrong. I don't, I don't feel like I have to bend it, but here's what you do. You go in, like here's your bun, you know, right here. So you go into the bun, but then you turn it and go back this way. Well, that makes it stay in. You know, just that simple turning I thought, well, that's genius. I did not know that. All of you all may know that, and I may just be the, the you know, one in the dark about all of this, but this changed everything. This changed, I could just stick my bun in, zoop, and do it back out. Stick it in, zoop, do it back out. I love these. And look how many I got. Let me show you. I had to, I put them in a thing. Look. Look at all those. That's gonna last. They'll outlive me, won't they? <laughs> it's just an enormous amount. So the hair pins I got off Amazon. I love them. If you wear any kind of bun or updo, you gotta get those. Okay, here's the next one. And I, if I remember, I will film downstairs what they look like on. So I noticed in my shoes, I had lots of boots and heels. And I had one pair of flats that uh, I had bought last summer, the straw kind, I can't think of the name of them either. My, my mind is gone. But um, I had bought those, but I wanted some ballet flats. And I had had, I kind of had some round ones, but I just didn't think they were as attractive. So I got one with more of a, it, it's not, I don't consider it a real pointy toe, it's not as you know pointy like that, but it's more than a rounded between a rounded and a pointy toe, and it was very inexpensive. Amazon Essentials got them in two colors, so I can wear them. They are comfortable as heck too. They really are. I can wear them in two. Uh, wear them with jeans. I can wear them with skirts or pants or anything. 
It's anything. I've got on some ripped jeans right now, and I put on old, you know, ripped jeans that, you know, you think of as more casual. I put those on to show how it looks good with that, but I would wear it, I'd wear it with anything. Yeah, they're, they're soft, they're comfortable, and they don't look cheap. They look more expensive than what they are. They really do. I mean, just the feel of them, they, they feel very pleasant. Their lining is very pleasant and nice. They're very uh, comfortable. I, I'm really, really thrilled with these. I'm glad I got both pairs, so I'll try to remember to post a picture right here. Well, I kind of messed up, but I think it might be okay, so I'm going to continue. The next one, I hope, I, pl I, I stopped this and I went and played it back and it, I hope it's not too loud. If it is, I will put a little thing at the beginning apologizing, but there might be, have been a hum in the background and that is because, and this is, I think I'm gonna put it in the other room. It is a little fridge. Now I had one before, that um, I heard about from my friend Carol, Carol's uh, O Carol Show, uh, and I don't know what happened to it. I can't remember what happened to it, but uh, I saw this one on Amazon, and I thought, I like that, and it's small, and it's portable, and people seem to really like it. It looks just like a little refrigerator in there. It's just cute as it can be. Is it showing? Yeah, here we go can charge it and I keep it plugged in but you can charge it turn it off and on that type of thing there's lots of things that you can do to make it a little more portable um, since I have gotten it the last I've just done one or two videos and I did remember to unplug it I did because it does have a little hum and so you might have heard it at the beginning but I'm gonna transfer it to my bathroom I think. Uh, my bathroom's just so small. Even though it's small, I, I don't have a lot of counter space. I might put it in my closet. I don't know. I just hate going all the way downstairs to put my bottom sea serum and coming all the way back up. So I decided to get this little refrigerator. I saw it on somebody's channel. Maybe Emily Noel. It might be the one that she has. And I found it on uh, Amazon. I think it might be em Emily Noel, but I'm not sure. Okay. And then my last one, let me put my vitamin C serum back up. I have an old fashioned bathroom. We have redone it. It's, it's, it probably was originally a little closet. That's how small it is. But we have a, I have a clawfoot tub in there and it's old fashioned looking, you know, the flooring and stuff like that. It's all old fashioned looking. So I wanted a little clock. I didn't really have extra place to like put anything on the wall or plug anything in. I wanted a little battery operated clock that looked like it would be kind of old-fashioned looking. So I found one on Pottery Barn and I really liked it. And I, you know, I paid, I have, not a, you know, Pottery Barn's kind of expensive. So I paid a good price on it. So I noticed one day, I don't think it's moving. I don't, you know, I thought maybe the battery, it was moving, but the second hand was stuck and it was just going like that, boom, boom. I could hear it, you know, and it would fly, it would just, it wouldn't go any further around the face. I guess maybe something behind it was stopping it. I tried taking it apart. We did, Doug worked on it. I couldn't get it to get back, you know, the way it was. So I thought, well, I looked at it again and I thought, I'm not going to pay that again and rebuy it. So I found one on, and here it is, you can see the time and everything. I found one on Amazon for six. 16 or 17 dollars and I thought it was just cute as it could be. I uh, hope it's not too much reflection. I got the, I think it's the latte background, but just put my battery in and it went, set my, my time and it's just been good as gold since then. So I really, I really like this a whole lot. I, I really like this clock. It's just exactly what I wanted and pretty much identical to the one that I paid so much more on Pottery Barn. So, you know, I guess it always pays to not do your first impulse and just kind of look around or it did with that. I don't think there's anything else right now. I'll get back on the Makeup by Mario. Sorry about the buzz. I hope it's not too bad.
in the background to begin with. If it is, I will try to remember to unplug or at least go put it in the bathroom. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Everybody take care and uh, hope hope everybody is healthy and having a good week and have a good weekend. I'll talk to y'all in a couple of days and I will start using that makeup. Uh, so anyway, thanks again. Bye-bye.